Hello and welcome to an episode of Back Up 3 Project playing Gary's Mod with Stargates! Yeah! I am playing as Master Chief Skin, which is all good. Um, at this point, there are no Stargates except that one all the way up there, which you can sort of see, and this one. At the moment, I'm, I will just put another one in, just show you. If you obviously saw my last video, I used this gate over here, this one. This one is what I used last time. So I'll go over and I'll fix it so I can get it to be located. I'll call it under my name so I can easily dial it. So what I will do is I'll go over to this one and I'll type in my name. Now then, at the end of this, I have to put the letter P at the end of it. So, because it is actually a gate that is in the Pegasus Galaxy. So I have to put the P at the end of it to represent it to be in the Pegasus Galaxy. And then I press that. And it'll lock. And I click that. As you can see, they have both activated. And, you know, you walk through it and you come out the other side. Okay, it's as simple as that. If you really want to download it, I do not have a link in my description, but I can just recommend you can download it for, straight from the Steam or the Gary's Mod store part of Steam, which wouldn't be too hard to do. Now, what I will do is I'll spawn in a universe gate. There we go. Got to make it so it's not local. Because then I can dial it from anything. What I will do is I'll get this gate to dial straight to it anyway. Well there you have it, those two have dialed. Step through, you know, like always, you step through and it closes. For this one to dial, it's completely different. I'll get this one to dial to that one. This one just constantly rotates and just does that and lights up. Now then, for those of you who wouldn't know this, because I'm just going to put it out there, but to spawn an iris, there is a little arrow up here in the top right hand corner. All the way up there, you click that, and you go down to the Stargate option, and you scroll down until you see it says iris. This, at the moment I have se selected is the um, Atlantis shield. So I'll spawn it onto that. But I recommend as well as just spawning one of those, you want to uh, put this in. That thing there. Yeah, you know, you can't... Oh, I dialed to this one. Didn't even realise that. Then you just set your own key to it. And it'll turn on. You can't come through it can't go through it this way and you can't go back the other way as I'll show you now you die as soon as you get there you die just, just straight off the block and you remove it and go through the gate come through as normal and you can close it if you want
that just rotates again back to its normal position. Okay, now the other thing is also in this one is a super gate which spawns in a massive stargate that is glitching out which I'm not going to continue on because that will glitch out the game and I don't want it to do that. You can get one of these stargates absolutely tiny I'll get it to um, go to that one Like, look how tiny that thing is. It's so small. Okay. That's weird. Okay, I want to try something. Oh, crap. I can't close it. I want to try something. Now, I'll spawn that in. And I'll move out a bit. And I'll go up to weapons. I'll place one of these replicator weapon things in. I'll go up and I press E. And go over. And I'll go, how about Skygate? And you dial it. Just want to see if this will work. No, I didn't think it would. So what you can do is I'll use this one because it has an iris on it. So you put one of these down. I'll get out of it. Go over here. You press E on it to activate it. It may not come up with anything, but you press E to activate it. And I'll get this one to dial this. Uh, Stargate. Crap. My mistake. I didn't activate the iris. That was a terrible mistake by me. So activate it. Maybe I should redial again. Put the iris on this time. the shield it should activate okay that's odd maybe if I put it on there like that go over and press E on it yes this is what inside of it looks like um, and I dial this one to the other one so I'll write my name in again there we go What that actually did was, it actually just shoots a laser through the Stargate. This one should have a... there it is. It does have a laser there, not that you can see it. I'll just die and see if that'll fix it. No, it didn't. That's weird. I'll try again. Alright, I have to remove that.
and I have the Stargate on the ground like this as well. Okay, next thing I should actually show you is the rings. They so spawn in a ring, and you spawn in one of these. <coughs> ah, sorry. And I'll click dial because there should already be one on the map. And the rings move. And you teleport you. That's really bright. There you go. I'm somewhere else on the map. Which was, isn't real far from where the other one is. So do the same sequence again. Or what you can do is you can set your own thing to it. So I'll go one, two, three, four. So then I'll go back to the other one. Then I'll just spawn another one in over there. Then you type in one, two, three, four, dial. brings me back up here. Another cool thing you can have in this is there are ships like the Daedalus, the control chair, a death glider, uh, the destiny shuttle, uh, F-302s, gate glider, the jumper, the Teltac, and the Wraith Dart which I'm going to use this at the moment what I will do also is I'll get this to dial the sky gate then what I can do is I get in the puddle jumper close the door press this button here on the side go in press E and I can fly it I'm just going to see if I wind it up properly. Okay, it appears I've lined it up properly, so all I need to do now is just hold forwards and I should end up going through the Stargate. So we'll wait for it to finish dialing. Two more chevrons and it should have been should be dialed. One more. Hold boards and straight through I go. Can I and I can bring these out to maneuver. Go down here in a very laggy manner. If I press one, I go into the first person mode. straight in under there so yeah that's the puddle jumper so now I'm gonna have to end the video here so like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials such as this one which there will be more because I have not covered everything yet so, thank you for watching!